Hello everyone, in this video, let us uh, understand how we can fetch the values from uh, a Google Sheet. So if you look at this particular sheet, we have uh, a simple sheet where we have a column called uh, country and in this particular column we have some values. So to understand how to fetch the information from uh, your sheet, you can write a script, you can write a Google Apps script. So let me go to my tools on top and uh, let me open my script editor. And then we'll start writing a script. So let me wait uh, for this to uh, open. So let us create a new file to write our script. So I can uh, click on uh, the file option and then I can go to the option called new and then I can create a new script file. So let me uh, give this particular file a name. So maybe the name could be fetch column uh, values and uh, you'll have a new function in a new file where you can uh, start writing your script. Now if you look at this particular uh, sheet, you have just uh, one sheet but you can have uh, multiple uh, sheets in your uh, Google Sheets. So you can have maybe 10 sheets. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to specify which sheet you want to work on. And uh, then I want to show you how we can quickly fetch the values from a selected range. So when you select uh, one or multiple uh, values or multiple cells, maybe in a particular column, this is nothing but a range. and uh, we need to do basically two things. We need to first uh, work on the sheet that is currently open, which is my sheet number one. And then I need to focus on the range that is currently selected. So if I go back to my uh, code, I can uh, use these two functions to fetch uh, uh, first my sheet. So my sheet is, uh, uh, which is currently open or active and I can use this particular uh, uh, syntax here spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. So this is something that you can uh, easily find if you are trying to do it for the very first time and if you're not sure uh, uh, what uh, functions you need to use. So let me show you how you can easily do it. So if you type spreadsheet app dot get active uh, and then it will uh, give you the suggestion. So you can easily find something like uh, get active spreadsheet. So if you want, you can copy this code. I'll also share the uh, uh, the, the link to the uh, GitHub uh, uh, code where you can uh, copy this code straight away. But I recommend that you refer to the code, but start or type it yourself. And similarly, we need to do for uh, we need to do what? We need to first select the sheet, and then within this this sheet. We need to then focus on uh, get active range and then uh, it will give us the range where uh, we have our values and then we also need to understand we also need to fetch the values so you can further uh, further type dot get values so this is pretty much it this is a very simple code to simply fetch you the details of uh, the selected uh, range which is in this case our column but to verify whether this is working or not what you can do you can uh, uh, type a uh, browser dot uh, message box and uh, in this message box you can simply pass your sheet values so this is nothing but uh, it will most likely return me an array kind of uh, uh, kind of a data structure because uh, we have a range with multiple values so let us uh, run this and uh, since we are running this fun function which is my function in my fetch column hyphen values uh, file. If I go back to my sheet, I can see here immediately that uh, I can retrieve the uh, the values that I have already selected, which is country, India, US, UK, China and uh, Russia. But uh, what if you want to retrieve them one by one? So for doing that, you can actually write uh, a simple for loop a uh, good old for loop like uh, for i is equal to zero, which is uh, my starting point. And then I can uh, uh, run this till the end of this uh, array, which is a sheet 
values and I can use this uh, func this particular uh, uh, length uh, which will of course uh, return me the length of this uh, array and then I can uh, do I++ plus plus. let us simply use uh, this uh, browse function browser function again and uh, this time instead of uh, just uh, displaying the whole array I can simply type in here sheet values and I can uh, pass or I can just focus on one array item at a time and I can print it one by one. So if I uh, print this, let us see what happens. So there is some uh, error in my in my code. So let me try to figure out uh, what is the error. So the error is actually at uh, line 8. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm using a, a comma instead of a semicolon. So this should be okay now. So let us run this and uh, hopefully it will work. So let, let me first clear the old uh, message box. So right now you can see here that I'm able to print country. If I, click, if I click on OK, then it will now display India and then hopefully US, UK, China and uh, Russia. So this is a very simple example to tell you or to explain you how we can uh, fetch the values from your sheet. Of course, instead of selecting this particular uh, range manually, we can also just focus on uh, the whole column and we can display maybe the maybe all the values in that particular column. But I wanted to show I wanted to create this video and show you how we can uh, do it uh, on a range. We'll, we'll, we'll create one more video to do the same thing on uh, the whole column because maybe if you have a sheet with uh, hundreds of entries so you don't really want to select them you just want to do your processing on data maybe on the whole uh, sheet wherever you have some value in that particular column and of course so this is just uh, the starting point uh, of fetching the information from uh, your column and if instead of one column maybe you have uh, multiple columns you can also one by one retrieve the whole row or maybe a specific uh, specific uh, cell maybe for example if you go back to the sheet and along with the country maybe you have your additional details like maybe the country of IST code so in this particular case let us say you have some number here like 91 for US it is I believe 1 UK it is 4 4 I don't know about China or Russia but uh, if you want to also retrieve these values on the right hand side of uh, each and every cell, you can also do that uh, using the same piece of code. But for that, uh, we'll uh, create another video. So I hope uh, this uh, video was useful. Thank you very much.